hello guys and welcome so in this video we are going to learn about django message framework we are going to use this message framework in our django crm application so when is django message framework is used so when we want to display message let's take an example if we want if we have submitted a form and after submitting we have to give a message like your form has been saved so for displaying such messages or such flash messages or notification Django message framework is useful. Django message frameworks has different tags like it has debug which is used in debug mode, info, success, warning, error. So let's take an example. If we have submitted this form update after submitting we get the alert like this is the message your form has been your profile has been updated and we have written a script that will moving the div after two seconds. So let's see the code of HTML. So we have written here the HTML code in base.html and we have given the ID as message. And here we have written the script and we have set the time. If the message ID is having the length greater than zero, then we'll remove it after two seconds. Let's write the message in views. So in common, in apps common, we are writing the message. So we'll import first from Django dot contrib import messages. Okay. And you need to make sure that this is here in install apps. After that, after saving the form, we'll give the message success. So messages dot success and in brackets will give the request comma and the message your profile is updated successfully so we have written the message so we have imported the messages and we have written the message so this is the message tag okay if there it can it can be info error debug warning etc okay so in here base.html what we'll do will write this code in different template so first we'll import something so we'll use we'll include and the path of the HTML file where we are going to write the that code HTML code okay so we are we have written the ad code in messages dot HTML so if you see this we are giving the messages if there are messages then go for loop and write that code and here we are accessing the mess message tags using message dot tags okay and here we are displaying the message okay now let's see an example we'll update the profile and here you see the message okay uh, let's change the tag of the message so we'll give it as error okay once more we'll be updating the profile and here we see the message but now if you notice bootstrap doesn't have alert dash error class so instead of alert dash error, we can give warning or danger. So one hack we have to do in here settings, we need to import something. So we are importing messages constants and we are setting the classes of bootstrap. So in message dot error, we are setting alert dash danger. Save this one. So we have set the constants of messages tags. So in messages, we have done one hack. So we'll remove this one. Now we don't need this because we have written it here. Now let's update once more. And here you can see the color danger. That's it was in this video. If you like my video, give a thumbs up, comment below, motivate me and I'll see you in the next video.